Hey guys, and I just wanted to say sorry if you haven't, if you hear any background noise in the back. Um, it's my dog and my dad <laughs> stuff. So today I went to Huntington and got a few things. And also, I'm like sorry I haven't made a video in a while. Haven't, like I told you I'd make lots of videos and keep it up to date, but I haven't made a video in a while, so sorry about that. So I'll take my seat out. <laughs> and then, oh, I got this like wanted thing. I don't know, that looks pretty cute. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> but the book is called Where the Mountain Meets the Moon. And I thought this was going to be a pretty good book to read. And I know you're probably like, oh, she decided to get a book to, from a store. But actually, um, I thought this was like, I couldn't find anything at any other stores. And at the bookstore, I was like, well, this will be handy because we have AR where I live. And I don't know if you all do or not. Just tell me down below if you do. But um, we do, and it keeps me up to date with AR and stuff. So it keeps me up to date with books. And I thought on my next AR book, I could read this. So it's called Where the Mountain Meets the Moon. And by Grace Lynn, and I don't know if y'all have heard the series of this book, but I really love the series. But I love the series of the book. One of my friends read, um, Starry Night Sky, I think it's called, that one, and I read the second version, I think it is. It's called Whether or Not It Means to Man. And so, on the back, I'm just going to show you the back. Back, I'm making sure to cover that up just in case it might say where I live or something. So, yeah, so back, and I'll read it to you. It says, Young Menly lives in the valley of Freightless Mountain, where she and her parents spend the days working hard in the fields. At night, Menly listens to her father's tales about the old man of the moon, who knows the answers to everything. Minley sets out on a quest to find the old man of the moon. He will know how how she can bring good fortune to her family. Along the way, she meets many magical friends, including a talking fish and a powerful king, a powerful king, and a dragon who can't fly. So, um, I think this is going to be pretty cool, pretty interesting book. It was a Newbery Honor book. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah. It says it also on the book. On the back of the book, it says, I can see that this is a new very honor. So, I want to show you a couple of pictures that I thought looked like pretty interesting though in the back. And I thought this was pretty cool. They have so many pictures in the back. I mean, you really don't see that many pictures in the back, but I thought this was pretty cool. I'll start at the beginning and work my way to the back. But it has it in the reader's guide, all these pictures. But first, I was going to show you this. It is, and this is not hardback, this is just paper, because I like the paper kind. First, oh, I've got an itch, so I guess. First, I have this picture, and I thought this was really pretty. Really, really pretty. And I thought this was the most interesting picture ever. It's just really pretty. And I, I can't believe that they have all these pictures in the back. I mean, it's so awesome that they think that it's so important to have so many pictures in the back, even though it's a chapter book. I mean, I think that's just really important. And really cool. Then she has pictures of places that she's been. She lives in China, so she goes all kinds of places. And I think China like places, like houses I think, like, you know, places where you eat in China look like really, really neat. See this one? That one I think looks really cool. But there she is. And this one's just, I don't know what it is, just house I guess. Then she drew a picture of her town. I thought that was really neat. And she drew this. This was really pretty. I thought it like has snowflakes and stuff. I think. So yeah, it's pretty. And then, guys, here. 
I guess like a bridge that crosses over. The bridge that crosses over when she's walking on it. And then over here she drew a bridge and the same thing. This is the real picture. This is the one she drew. So, or somebody drew. I don't know if it was her or not. So I thought that was really cool. This is like really cool. And I guess this is her and her mom. And it says at the end, and the rock sculptor, sculptures I saw at Yuyun Garden became inspiration for Minley's hiding place. And I guess that's something in the book, so it look she drew that. That's really cool. It's really pretty. And then there's another picture. But that, she didn't draw that. That's just a real picture of it. Then here's another one. It's just these little Chinese people and then that she drew and then like real Chinese people, like real sticker Chinese people. So look at that. Hopefully it's a good view, guys. Sorry if it's really not a good view. But that's the best I can do. Um, and then I think the last one's really, really cute. And this is a really inspiring artist, I think. And she put at the end, this is also why at the end of the book I have images of Afu and Dafu displayed on Minley's doors, a hint of inspiration for their characters. And if you can see on the doors, that's what they have. The little character she's talking about. And there was the last picture. So, she's pretty inspiring to me. I think she's being inspiring, you know. Given she's giving her own unique, unique technique to put photos at the end, because I really haven't read any book that has this photos at the end like that, and I think that was pretty neat when I got this book. How it had those photos. So if I ever make a one, then I'll have to do that. And then here she is. Picture her again. And I'm just going to show you one more thing and I'm going to have to end this video, guys. So sorry. But I love front pages and stuff. I love how she makes things not so boring in her books like other people do. And look. Chapter 1. Look at that. Look. It has little designs on each thing. Look. Chapter 2. Chapter 2 so cute and I think this book is really inspiring to anybody that loves dragons and loves magical things so definitely get this book it's awesome you should get it at any bookstore and it's amazing so guys I will try to keep up to date and comment down below if you want me, want me to make a video of a herringbone me doing the herringbone braid because uh, um, all kinds of kids at school have been wondering how I do it and I'm just going to show you all so some kids will be able to see it and be able to do it when they grow up. So um, I guess this is the end of the video. Um, I hope you all have a great Friday wherever you live because where, where I live it's Friday <laughs> and I will see everybody uh, I don't know maybe Saturday. So, thank you all for watching. Subscribe, comment, and rate. Thanks. Bye.